As you can see, the layers on the left are not all the same. Some of the layers, for instance this one, is a text layer. Then we also have these other layers with a hashtag. The hashtag simply means that the layer is a frame. Now it is possible to turn a frame into a component, and a component enables you to reuse this throughout the, your application. And the component might be a master, which is in the case of purple text with four diamonds on the far left. That's a master component. And the master component can have children or uh, subcomponents or duplicate versions of the master. And we know that we're using a duplicate version of that because we see the open triangle beside the purple text. The other way which we know that is when we select the element on the canvas or from the layers, on the far right, it gives us the option to go to the master component. And so if we select that, it will then redirect us back to the master component. When you're using master components in CSS, it's important to realize that the code required to actually develop that component might be elsewhere in your code base. And you might only be needing to call the variables or properties which will have been already previously defined.